Hello, my name is Helen Shin. I'm teaching in the Department of Geography at Seoul National University. Today I'm going to talk about um, the territorialization of cultural economy in the politics of urban development in a second tier Asian city. And then the case is Gwangju, South Korea. Uh, the title is From City of Blood to City of Culture. Um, here I'm going to I'm going to see how culture how the cultural politics of urban development is crossed with second tier cities and in the context of East Asian cities. Um, second tier cities um, have not received as much attention as uh, the world cities and uh, very poor cities have. Uh, probably it's because the success of second tier cities is not as glamorous as that of uh, world cities and the problems of second tier cities are not as miserable as uh, very poor cities. So second tier cities do not belong to the south of south, nor uh, the north of north. And the second tier cities are ordinary. Um, their stories are rather boring. But I argue that second tier cities, um, because of the slim possibility of becoming a world city, I mean there is a possibility, but it's not much. So. Uh, because of that, the combination of opportunities and, and then limitation, second tier cities demonstrate um, a particular kind of urban boosterism. Besides, East Asian cities um, tell uh, about particular kind of uh, state-dependent growth orientation. As the uh, East Asian uh, developmental state legacy indicates um, these cities have been under strong state intervention and then the state's aggressive growth orientation um, towards economic development um, has been locally entrenched and embedded. So as a result of this, this combination of a second tier and East Asian cities, the desperate urban boost tourism exists to seek to move from the periphery to belong to the core of the world. And I'm talking about the, cult, the politics of a cultural economy because, because of the desperate urban boost tourism, the integration of a culture uh, and the economy um, often shows a quite a dynamic, um, dynamic politics. And the dynamics occurs as a result of interaction between the divergent aims of divergent participants in the process of uh, integration. Um, ideologically, uh, the integration of culture and economy uh, can be smooth because culture and economy are not entirely separate entities. But in terms of urban politics, the cultural economy is the product of a dynamic process of interference, resistance, uh, communication, negotiation, renegotiation, and integration involving different agents. So in this diagram, I'm trying to uh, say that the cultural economy is heavily influenced by the context, the second tier and the East Asian context, because um, the economy side is quite strong but at the same time, with a, especially with the collective memory, the culture side is also uh, strong. 